Hello dear friends and welcome back again to Adventure Story Channel video. This is our next part. And in this part we will continue to set our engine room. So as you can see here we had a high pressure alarm also shutdown of the boiler. Our safety system activated and as you can see also here we have a high high steam pressure burner shutdown and also we have indication here of shutdown so what was the reason I left the boiler without somebody to watch the boiler so that's why we get that kind of alarm so I will try to reset so everything reset now everything is ready normally what should I do uh, normally when the pressure will go about uh, 5 kilograms I should open the steam valve to the system the main steam valve which locates here on the top and here you can see uh, you can see that you can operate uh, how many percent you can open so in the beginning I will slide open and this is really really important if you like uh, to not make any damage to your gasket here to protect your piping system you will be slowly open crack open and in uh, cold condition this uh, procedure must be done as much as possible slower so uh, to avoid any hammering effect in the lines you should drain properly your uh, condensate inside uh, through the piping and this will help uh, really really a lot to avoid uh, this hammering effect this is a really really destructive uh, situation when you have cold water inside your piping so we will open slowly and slowly and let's check our system our consumers this is the overall uh, view of the system here it's our boiler which is pressurized and a normal thing also is to pressurize or heat the other boiler we will open the heating to the other boiler so we can uh, heat up and uh, this procedure you can done also when you, your other boiler is about four to five kilogram so you gradually heat up also all the other system like the boilers you have here so let's trace our system here let's see where our steam is going and here we have flow we have steam flow for the heating line here on the bottom of a uh, water drum and it shows that there is supply of steam 126 kilograms per hour uh, it will take time for sure let's see now this is a let's make it closer here where you can see the mouse this is the handle for activating the safety valves there is Two pair of them in case you would like to activate it by manual and these handles located in the safe area so uh, you'll be able to activate in case uh, there is over pressure inside your boiler so for the moment we have 21 bar pressure let's open about to 30 percent and let's trace the line so we will open uh, to our consumers let's see okay we have 11 bar pressure here so our uh, boiler start to fall down to drop down its pressure because we it it will be released through the lines and then we will supply uh, our steam line to next level and also for 
heating of fuel, but our steam will remain for the moment here. Okay, still we will not open any heating of these heaters because first of all, we need to establish a circulation of the cooler, uh, the coldest media first of all, and after we open the heating. Always have this in mind when you are uh, prepare something, let's say fuel, first of all, the fuel must be circulated inside and then you open the steam line. So let's see where this um, line goes. Okay, steam trap for the cargo lines still will not open for the warming of auxiliary boiler number one. Okay, it's open for number two. We will close because number two boiler it's already heated. Normally, uh, the heating for number two because it's in use, we keep it close. So, okay, we will open that one. And first of all, okay, we will need to establish the feed water system and the circulating system through the exhaust gas economizer so let's see for slope tanks we will keep close all this will keep close also where else we will need to open for the fuel tanks and first of all we need to check what we have inside the fuel tanks it is uh, full of fuel the temperature it's okay for the moment the temperature is okay let's go back again okay keep it close and as you see if you open somewhere the steam pressure will go down let's open to many engine preheating uh, which will be really really necessary for the moment and all the other we will open later so let's see and now we can open for the burner for the burner of number one auxiliary boiler and for the burner of number two auxiliary boiler so now we can go back again we can shut uh, we can open 100% let's open 100% let's say and we can shut uh, the air service air here okay we can shut and we can make a test we can make a test with the steam to provide steam for atomizing okay the valve uh, it's here it's close okay let's see okay it's here also also there it's available so let's make a start with the steam and that's why we need to verify that we have this uh, start with the steam also and then we will um, as you can see <laughs> the level also it's 100 okay it's not so a big deal mm, and then let's see that our settling and service are fine in the temperature about 70 degrees 80 degrees they're fine so we can ready prepare and circulate um, our fuel on our diesel generator and then to main engine so first of all 
and let's check the bowler and whatever you're doing better focus there first let's see our bowler okay here we are we are still in the purging phase Parching phase. There is always an emergency stop if you see something unusual, which you can press. And let's see now. Okay, we have pressure. We have 11 bar pressure. So uh, our atomizing steam is more than enough. Okay, we have flame. Low firing. And... Um, let's... Shut uh, our boiler again. So I will press stop. Steam purging. Okay, let's prepare now uh, main engine high temperature uh, system. So our water is cold. We cannot start our main engine with uh, this temperature. That is true. So what we, I will need to do is the heating of our jacket from the boiler system. Where is our main engine preheating? Fresh water. I will need to search here. Let's go back again to take a view. So it's um, it's increasing, but I will need to close this valve. So most of the water will pass uh, through the heater and we have a better result of uh, increasing of temperature so let's see it's 42.6 42.7 it's going up let's see if we can increase um, the capacity of the steam so we can have a better and quality steam for heating managing heating okay it's going here inside through the steam trap okay and then goes out here so i will need to check also the condensate where the condensate goes Okay, it will be here in this line. So here everything, this is the drain system, which will be condensate here. Freshwater filter tank. Let's see that one, let's check. And here also it's a dumping valve in case it must be also opened. Let's see here feed filter tank and here also we must set all the feed pumps uh, so our boiler will be uh, fine and also in lower pressures you can start to associate with uh, the circulating pumps with the gas exhaust gas economizer so it will start to heat up once we will open our and we will start our uh, water circulating pumps the temperature of the system will drop and that's why we will need the boiler running and running for a longer time so let's see here we will need to set one um, small feed pump and one big uh, feed pump for the boiler let's see if the small one also feeds the big one yes it's so correct so we will prepare all the lines for both boilers 
and then also we will open the return so we will prepare all the valves we will open them so everything will be ready also let's start the panels let's preheat our motors okay everything good here everything is fine and let's open the water here from the controllers this is the emergency filling here so let's keep the level 100 and this is the return line here which goes to water sample sample cooler okay we will adjust also our chemicals okay from here and then what is this one this is the inlet from exhaust gas economizer so we need to prepare also this line here everything we will set up let's trace also this line here to see where it goes it goes and this is yes this is the blow down line here the top blow down and the bottom blow down okay we will not use it for the moment and now this is the boiler in the service and here we will open the water circulating pumps so here here both of them will be open okay check that everything it's open here is the filling the automatic filling and the manual filling drain cooler and also here let's see the suction of the pumps for the main the big feed pumps and the small big feed pumps must be open okay the level of the feed tank it's okay let's check this 44 what is uh, used for 44 and this is for the big condenser okay let's go back let's start one circulating pump okay it's fine let's see uh, how the pressure the temperature increases what is going on let's see 1.4 bars and check here in the main boiler in the big boiler auxiliary boilers the pressure start to drop down much much quicker so now this exhaust gas economizer because there is not any passage of the gases it works like a cooler a cooler for the auxiliary boiler let's start also our feed pump a small feed pump which is necessary to keep the level in the boiler and we will start also here we will close because this boiler it's not in use for the moment and we will start at one chemical dosing pump let's go back okay and check that the chemical dosing pump injects the chemical direct to the feed line of the boiler so all the chemicals will go here and will affect from the top until the bottom so they can circulate all around so here we are fine uh, i will wait for uh, the system to be adjusted also here as you can see uh, our water circulating pumps have Two feed lines for cooling the pump itself this is some kind of design for cooling of the pump and keep them uh, safe the pressure starts to reduce as the water will be circulated here and that's how when main engine will work next uh, step the exhaust gases will pass from here and will heat all the water which is circulated here from the boiler and this water which is warm here on the exhaust gas boiler will be transferred here and will keep also our boiler water warm and then back again from this line 
will make this circle. That's why we need this boiler water circulating pumps to circulate this water. And we circulate only the water which is uh, the boiler in operation and our master boiler. This is, will be our master boiler and this will be our slave boiler. We cannot circulate both of them because we will have a big difference in water levels because we have also difference of the pressure. This boiler has always higher pressure and this will be lower pressure so the water from one boiler with higher pressure will go to the lower pressure boiler and we do not need this kind of tricks uh, on our vessel. So that is the reason that we are using only one boiler. The next step that I will do uh, as our system will go more hot and more hot I will set to 100 okay probably okay let's go back to the boiler to our boiler let's see also if the other boiler start to heat up from the heating line let's see and trace the steam line if it's open one moment steam okay boiler steam system so number one warming yes it's open let's see if all the line is open so it will be uh, circulated also i see there is one bottom hey uh, one button yes which says press uh, to open all so the steam will go here will pass for the warming for sure it will need a lot of time to take it uh, until one bar so i will keep open this vent on the top here and we have made a really really good progress here for heating up let's check here on the panel and we can do the setup for the fuel that is the next step uh, when we change something uh, one system of fuel to another it's better to keep in manual the boiler so it will not start in case uh, in in the moment that we are making these changes so i will prepare now the line for the fuel line and I will start from our tank. So I will change. First of all, uh, I need to check the pumps of the other boiler, okay? To not interrupt the suction from the tank. So the line here, okay, it's uh, different. So we can prepare our line without any problem. So I will switch here to heavy fuel oil service tank I will check the tank itself to verify that the tank is open and I will use okay there is as you can see there is a lot of service tanks there is two service tank probably one it's with high sulfur and the other with low sulfur and so on for um, the other tanks we can write here that is this one tanks is high sulfur and also this high sulfur and this is low sulfur okay we can write something like that on them and uh, we are located in the port where is a uh, restrictions for uh, the fuel limits the sulfur limits so i will open it from here there is a way also you can use your settling tank, your fuel settling tank. There is also the line you can use in your boiler without any problem. Okay, we will set it as must be. So we will set our valves for the auxiliary boiler. Let's go down to continue the setting up of the system.
we will change the three way to the fuel oil service tank and let's trace next on on the pumps itself next on passing through the heater and this is uh, the time when we are opening open the cold media which in our case is fuel to passing inside and then the steam the outlet from the heater as you can see the heater has a safety valve a vent valve and a drain valve then the outlet here goes on the top and let's see what we will do now so we will open this valve here we will close this valve here and then we will um, okay so it will go here it will remain here and then going to another boiler so let's see it is a uh, really important to tell that we use only one heater the other heater will remain standby so it's not necessary to open anything on them and we will open the steam only when we start the circulating of our fuel so let's retrace the line again let's see also the return the return is here it's open already so the return will go back here to the return chamber which is in most cases located in the purifier room and then from here some of the fuel will be vented back to the fuel oil service tank and from here you can change to number two uh, fuel service tank or uh, whatever so we have our number one service tank and there we must set uh, the return so number one fuel oil service tank is this so our vent will be back again here from the return chamber and the fuel will return there so we will not have any kind of problem okay we will need also to open the flow meter here there is a meter to calculate the quantity and now we can start our pump we can test both of them to see if they are working properly let's see and the pressure now it's really really high because the fuel let's see what temperature has Ah, okay the temperature it's okay let's see where it will be stabilized okay it's 80 degrees and now we can open our steam from steam line here is the controller okay there is a bypass in the case that the controller is not working so we set it to 120 degrees and by circulating slowly slowly it will be uh, reach this temperature but another thing that i would like to say that the boiler will work even with 80 degrees so let's see if uh, through the time this will be increased the temperature uh, so let's see we have we have an atomizing steam here 11 bar we have everything set in fuel and let's see if we need to change also the program to let's start also the combustion fan air fan okay number two fuel pump working a very important thing is to verify that we need to change in the program but here i do not see uh, this kind of selection of the program uh, in which the boiler will operate in heavy fuel oil or, or diesel so everything it's set it here everything it's set it fine i will go also to the other boiler to set it in the fuel to check okay this is the return the return is this and also here i will uh, stop the pump now 
for the moment I will stop the pump okay we will get that alarm of uh, all pressure low because uh, our boiler are in manual if we had in stop probably we will not get uh, that alarm so I will open the fuel inlet I will close the diesel inlet and here also probably there is a program that switches uh, that mode I will need to find that one because this here these uh, three-way valves must be changed over to the fuel one let's see where we can find them or we can test to see if they will be changed so the pilot is this we have changed to the fuel line so let's give a start okay we cannot start because we have shut down one moment i will check i will check the line again so let's first of all acknowledge the alarms first of all we will do that the acknowledgement of alarms let's say it's on shutdown the boiler will not start in case that is uh, on shutdown mode first of all we need to reset the alarm and let's see here uh, if there is some selection here not smoke density alarms modes and let's see from here if there is uh, some kind of selection this is the emergency control probably there is another a monitor of the boiler where we can control that one and I will search it inside the engine control console let's see that one okay let's back again okay engine control panel here we have inner gas system let's go back again Okay, panel 3 and we are looking for the boiler and here this is the water levels the drum pressure and let's see some other uh, monitors if are available managing MOP telegraph very interesting one moment um, let's see the boiler system the boiler okay let's access first of all uh, the boiler fuel oil system 40 to check that probably you have find it already and I cannot see it for the moment okay let's see 41 let's see 41 for sure there must be selection of what kind of fuel we will burn so for the moment we have shutdown of uh, the boiler because of low oil pressure and will not start um, let's see the other boiler 
to see because here we do not have any kind of alarms let's see if we can start it with a uh, fuel oil let's try it so manual manual start once again uh, our boiler it's ready for start okay low mode and let's see what thing uh, do not allow our boiler to start manual start low alone okay let's try to start a uh, fuel pump number one let's see the pilot Okay, this is a very very interesting point the boiler it's ready but it not starts let's see the valves again so this okay we change it here so the fuel runs here inside so now must be correct okay let's start again service air it's enough probably all the valves must be switch uh, or change let's see uh, i will access also the other boiler here so yes that was uh, the cause that was the cause so because we do not switch the valves here uh, that was the reason okay let's make a acknowledge so low pressure accelerator boiler drum pressure low okay so let's go back again let's go back again where is our boiler fuel boiler system we are ready here and here we have our uh, fan running so we have also a low temperature of fuel alarm and for that we will need uh, heating and we will need it to make as much as possible fast because as you can see from 20 kilos now we are already in 12 kilograms but if you have a managing running and uh, we have also a exhaust gas economizer have a lot of uh, steam production it will be much much easier so let's see here if everything is fine ah, we didn't open uh, the valve for the ignition okay let's check that's why uh, give really really big attention on that items so we will starting <laughs> and uh, for sure the temperatures must be as much uh, possible to normal conditions but for the moment we cannot wait uh, we need a lot of time for that one until until reach 
the normal working temperatures. So for the moment we will start uh, the boiler. Already we supply uh, enough steam for heating here and the temperature it's 120 degrees almost it has reached so let's check here and for sure it will uh, increase as the flow will be increased here uh, when this valve will be switched uh, like this so as you can see our hot fuel already passing here <laughs> and i catch up that change so now our boiler will be operated normally we are in the perch uh, position so this is the proper uh, set point for this valve to running on fuel and then we must verify uh, after that that we have changed over all the valves properly it's not uh, in wrong position and this is really really important so we are 100 sure that the diesel it's not going to fuel and fuel are not going to diesel so uh, I have listened that there is a lot of uh, mixing of the fuel and in any case we do not like any mixing of the fuels because the regulations are really really strict for the sulfur streak so we have a flame, we have a low firing and after that, uh, to not forget the boiler, we, I will set it in auto so in low mode, as you can see, in auto, the boiler will uh, going to stop position and Another thing that uh, I will do, I will test also the other boiler. So slowly, slowly, I will increase the temperature. One moment. We have to cover this alarm here. Let's see what alarm is that. Common alarm number two boiler. Okay, let's go back to the boiler system again. Uh, the boiler it's ready, it's in low mode. Okay, we will set it as slave boiler and the other boiler will be uh, our master boiler. Okay, it's in auto, water level alarm high. We need to check that. Okay, it's in stop. So we will need to monitor the water level. It's 160. Okay, it's a lot, but it's not so dangerous. Let's monitor it. Um, here we have a ready signal, but we do not have uh, the start of the boiler. We have atomizing steam. We have also the fuel that will be circulated here but what else is missing from uh, our boiler to give that start so we set it to low mode and slave we do not have any alarms but when i give the start it not starts Okay. Ah, okay. The switch again is on emergency, so I will turn it to auto. So we get also that alarms pressure low, and now I believe that we can start our boiler. Let's see. Let's acknowledge the alarm. Let's acknowledge the alarm. And let's see the boiler now it's stop water level low alarm okay reset reset manual 
reset. It's ready. So let's start it. Okay, it's starting. Everything is fine. Our boiler is starting. And I hope, my dear friends, you have seen a lot. These alarms will go off and you will be able to reset them if we have reached a normal operating value more than the preset alarm. So our boiler is starting here. The other boiler here already it's in auto. It's stop. And here really really the water start to increase and there is uh, one reason why uh, we have this increase of the water. I will stop the feed pump. This is the solution because all the water that was here inside uh, in the exhaust gas economizer start and easy easy fill up our steam drum. This is the reason. So let's see our boiler here. The other boiler which still has a, a low pressure to zero and it's cold it's almost a surrounding temperature so now we are in the purging which is uh, 60 seconds and we will wait until we see this flame so our airflow reduce to 15 15 also oil flow and now we have the flame and also here with these arrows you can see how the gases and the flame passing uh, through the all these tubes and really this design it's really really good because it um, keep all the heat from the fire and transfer it to the tubes and next to the water so here we are we have set it uh, I will set it in auto uh, so the boiler will start and stop. The procedure is uh, the same as in the other boiler but uh, I will set it so the simulator will run it and keep it like that so it will not trip again uh, by a uh, high pressure. Thank you my dear friends for watching. Please stay tuned to the next video so we will continue running the simulator and we will see really interesting things. Don't forget to subscribe and press your thumbs on the top. From Adventure Story Channel, bye bye.